So welcome all, one and all, to the interview preparation masterclass. So I, I hear a lot of tips and tricks for any kind of interview. Let's get started and see what I have planned for you today in today's masterclass. The objective says to decode interviewers' expectations. This is the worst tip, right? If we got to know what interviewer is expecting from us, if we can know what interviewer is expecting from us and then we can provide him the same thing, will our selection criteria get ticked off? Isn't it or not? Can we have some thumbs ups if you are if you're thinking with me? If we decode what is going in interviewer's head and we are able to get, give him what he wants, we'll be selected, right? Okay, next point is recognize the purpose of different interview questions. Mark my words here. We're going to understand the purpose of different interview questions. We're not going to understand just what is the different interview questions, but we're also going to understand why is it asked. Poochta kyu hai interviewer humse. Right? Can we have some another thumbs ups if you were understand? Third is apply strategic interview techniques. That means if we know what is the purpose of interview questions, do we know how to answer them all? Right? Next is how to say I don't know. Is it, is it okay actually to say I don't know in an interview question into interviews? Is it okay if I say that I don't know any of the answers that interview has asked me? Right? So we're going to learn that today. How do we say that? And is it okay or not okay? Next is avoid some big no's for interviews. Let's just understand this we're going to do with the help of a game. So stay till the end because the people who are stay till the end will also get sample questions along with the answers to the interview questions. Okay. And the last one is use the power of non-verbal communication to win the interviews. Are we all with me? Do you think if we know all of these things, we'll be able to crack interviews? Yes. Can we have some thumbs ups if everybody is with me? Yes, Devashi says yes. Thank you so much, Devashi. Thank you so much, Ayush. So give them lots of thumbs ups if we are all ready to win the interviews. Now, mark my words, friends. This session is going to be a 45-minute session with no fluff things. I'm going to be straight to the point. I'm going to let you know what exactly does an interviewer need from you and how he is going to select you? What is the things that is going on in his own mind? I'm going to decode that for you today in this session. Are you all with me? Can I have some, some readies in the chat box so that I am totally prepared for you to tell those mantras, to tell those things that can really help you win the interviews? Are we all ready? Can we have some readies in the chat, friends? Because I am 100% committed to tell you all my learnings. I have been working on this presentation for last one week, decoding all the strategies and all my learnings from the last four and five years of seeing and taking interviews. And today I'm going to tell you it all in this 50-minute session. Okay, so first of all, we need to understand that what you have got you here won't take you there. Let me read it for you again. What has got you here won't take you there. That means if you want to go somewhere there, you need three P's in your life. That is practice, practice, and patience. Now, can you see the difference between two practices that I have written? When practice with CE means noun. That means something to know that I have to practice. It's a noun. When I say practice, it means verb, karna hai. For example, it is good to practice with a C. It is good to practice common interview questions. Here, practice is a noun. It is good to practice. When I say, one of your names I, I, I could take, please. For example, Dheeraj. Dheeraj practices common interview question that means he is actually practicing it so one practice is to prepare yourself and the other practice is to actually practicing it so both are needed are you able to understand both of them are needed first to prepare kya and the other one is karna hai okay so all the three p's are, are you clear with three p's can we have three p's in the chat if this this is clear First, practice means what? 
द अदर वन मीन्स वर्ब करना है वाला एंड थर्ड इज पेशेंस ऑब्वियसली माई डियर फ्रेंड्स इंटरव्यू रिक्वायर्स अ लॉर्ड एंड लॉर्ड ऑफ पेशेंस इफ पेशेंस इज नॉट देयर यू गोन हैव हार्ड टाइम लेट मी टेल यू ओके सो नीड टू हैव ऑल थ्री पीस कैन वी हैव थ्री पी इन द चैट इफ यू ऑल आर क्लियर विद वर्ड वर्ड हैज गॉट यू हेयर वोट टेक यू देयर कैन वी हैव कम ऑन वी जस्ट गेटिंग स्टार्टेड वील नाउ अंडरस्टैंड वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज what happens in the interview can we have some p's 3p in the chats just write down 3 and a p letter p okay so ayush has given me 3p anyone else if you just got it let's get started with the whole session why you are here thank you so much nisha thank you so much devashish and we are here with this one image can you can anyone of you tell me which show does this slide tell us which is this one show shark tank shark tank okay so we have some shark tank fans here sham says amnia says ayush says thank you so much everyone that that is so cute that is so nice so everybody knows this show called shark tank india isn't it now what happens in shark tank can anybody tell me what happens in shark tank what do the founders do in shark tank what what do they come for what do they give in shark tank what do they give in shark tank investment to startups okay okay so sham told founders pitch for funding they give a pitch fund for business, best business ideas fine correct so so what exactly is happening there they giving their sales pitches isn't it are you all with me they're giving their sales pitches can we have some thumbs up if you're with me in shark tank founders come and give their sales pitch for funding is fine right now similarly when i say in the language of interview is that your resume is your advertisement it's a one page advertisement when your while your resume while your interview is your sales pitch are you guys able to relate are you guys able to relate can we have some more thumbs ups if you are able to relate with what i just said resume is your advertisement and interview is your sales pitch how are how well you are able to convince that you are the one that you are the one who is the best candidate for that particular job role ayush says yes dheera says there thank you so much so what so now for, from now on just think all the time that your interview that your interview is just a pitch to a shark and who is the shark over here who is the shark over here friends your interviewer isn't it if we see the whole shark tank episode as an interviewer game it is right now again i have some shark tank uh, shark tank questions going on over here is that what does the shark look for in the founders anyone what does the shark look for in the founders pitch idea is important but what does the shark actually look for in the founders can i just get repeated you should know technical stuffs but what is really important is that you should know how to present yourself and with that i want to bring up to that point that the founders look for honesty confidence and most important attitude of the founders and so i said right compare shark tank with that of an interview where the sharks are the interviewer and the founders is you right and you need to understand that let's just absorb this it's just not always about the technical skills that you know my dear friends if you want to actually win an interview what are the two important things is what do you present and how you present when i say what it means your technical skills it means your logical thinking 
I remember one of my uh, in one of my interviews, my uh, interviewer asked me this one question that Mansi, can you tell me what is that one thing that your mother hates about you? Now, in that particular scenario, I would I would have been the ideal candidate saying that, oh, my mother just loves me. Oh, my mother does not hate anything about me. Or maybe, oh, I just, you know, study all the time and work all the time. So she hates me that I'm not spending time with her. Although I was really, really honest with him at that time. You know, what did I say? I said that she hates me when I keep her cooked food waiting while I do my work. And that build honesty, that build a confidence, that build a scenario where the interviewer trusted me that, oh, I just said the truth. And once you are able to build that trust between you and the interviewer, you have won the half game, my dear friends. Can we have some thumbs ups if you could understand what I actually said? Right? You're able to absorb what I'm actually trying to say. And when I say how you present it, it means your tone. It means the way you speak. It means the confidence. It means the effectiveness. So no matter how deep your interviewer goes inside the question, you have to be always formal and friendly with him or her. He will start asking about, okay, Mansi, tell me from which city do you belong? And then he'll start going into, okay, Mansi, tell me the sweets that are there from uh, the place you live in. No matter how friendly he tries to become, don't forget that you have to be formal as much as possible. Because he will try to, you know, demold you. He will think that, okay, let, let me see how much friendly he can become. But you have to be always formal. Along with that, you have to be friendly. And I'm sure you want to understand the more deeper level of why interviews are actually taken and what is going inside the interviewer's head. So do you know one thing? What does an interview actually know about you when you go for an interview? If I am your interviewer and suppose Devashis, I take your interview or Ayush, I take your interview. What do you think I know about you? Anyone? If if one of them one on one, I just bring you nothing. My academics. How do I know my? How do I know your academics? Are you? Can we go it little more resume? Absolutely. Recruiter or an interviewer only knows what you have written in your resume. Now, do you, does everything make sense? What you have written in your advertisement is what you need to speak in your sales pitch. Does that make sense? Now we move ahead to, have you seen in, in Shark Tank, there are certain questions that are really, really common to all the founders that come up. Jesse Key, they say that, okay, uh, thank you so much for coming to the Shark Tank and welcome to the Shark Tank, they say. They say, welcome to Shark Tank. Can you tell me more about yourself? Or can you tell me, if there are two founders, they say that, can you tell me how you both get Have you seen that? Can we have some smileys in the chat if you have seen those things that happens in Shark Tank a lot of times? Why I'm comparing to Shark Tank? Because an interview is similar to what happens in a Shark Tank, friends. And that's where we are going to today learn the most important five interview questions that have been asked frequently in almost every other interview.